It'll be a oh, W. Come on. <laughs> For <laughs> sake, no. W W dot patreon.com slash final stop podcast. Hey man, we got so many goddamn features on there. We got a hundred plus hours of bonus content. If you really want to get in, you'd be a ten dollar McBaller, a follower of Gus, you get those internal affairs. I cry. Tristan says stuff about his girl she can't be in the room for. And we have a really good time. We have a Tell good him, time. Skeeter. Darn tootin'. <laughs> get him, Clan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but join the Patreon. It's a fun time. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of the Final Stop Podcast. I'm your host, Daniel Bridgegad. Dude, live from the ever glorious Mescal Manor, Mach 2. Over here on the other side of the country, it's the vampire king himself, King Possum, Lord Meerkat, the dumbass turtle. I don't like that. I don't like the last one. Just the, what do you, you know, call me? A dumbass turtle? That's a deep cut. Do you remember that? No. Nah. You thought you were going to be fucking Crash Bandicoot or whatever, and then we looked up the team, and you're the uh, dumbass. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> the turtle. You're the dumbass turtle. It's Tristan Bowling. Over I make the stuff, the though, and I'm in a wheelchair, which is unfortunate because turtles go slow in the first place. Wait, so I called you the dumbass turtle in the last two episodes, and you had He's no clue dumbass. what that was He's from? He makes all the gadgets. He's in a wheelchair while everyone else is doing cool shit. What Any- do you mean? <laughs> hey, what do you mean? Just because his legs don't work, he means he's dumbass. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's in the van hacking and fucking... Sending out tech drones and shit like that. Hey, I'm equal. The dumbass black kid from Malcolm in the Middle. Thank you. Uh, over here on, <laughs> over here on the side table, it's the big man himself, the anti Riz, Patrick Orion Nons, the uh, <laughs> the Charlie Horse King himself. It's Andrew Oriana. What's up, boys? Good. He's uh, he's he's looking up the theme of this episode right now. So we're doing a uh, kind of a geographical podcast, if you will. We're going about talking about the states we'd love to sell out. And the markets that we'd love to like really sell some shows in, if we could. And I think that's a good way to. I know, get into isn't it. that such a sad thing to say? Like most people could have like conversations on their higher up echelon podcast, just being like, "I would love to sell out in like St. Louis, Missouri," and then they would because people from St. Louis would be like, "Yo, let's la- rally around him." Meanwhile, we are doing okay in Phoenix. <laughs> we're doing we're doing um, favorable in in Phoenix, and that's a bad it uh well no the reason we brought this up because i'm going to I'm, I'm doing a show in boston next week and i really want a genuine experience i want to get called a fucking hot ah by a bunch of niggas that uh, whose accents i can't understand i'm very excited because i want to know like the same you reason i'm excited look to up move- what is uh the opposite team of the celtics like what is their rival the knicks they hate the Knicks. Just wear a Knicks jersey. Just go invest in a Knicks hat and really cause yeah. a problem. <laughs> Knicks hat, just eating a chopped cheese every single place you go to. Well, because I want to look it up because we're going to be there on a Sunday. And the right now the Celtics are the best team in the NBA. I hope to God. I haven't looked it up. Maybe we could. If they have a home game, not that I want to go to one because, A, those are going to be egregiously expensive. But also, like, I just want to go to the stadium yeah, Celtics, before the game. Celtics impressed me. Like I didn't bet on that game, but I would have lost a lot of money mm-hmm. if I. I was like, dude, there's no way Doncic doesn't blow them out. But they were up like fucking thirty. Bro, they blew the they blew the Warriors out by forty points. They had five games in a row where they won by forty points. It's an NBA record. That's they're, fucking crazy. They're fucking shit up. So I would love to go out there. Kyrie's like, all going these, crazy. Yeah, all these Boston fans are gonna be on their high horse, all fucking. Oh yeah, you know we're doing it. and go out and be like, you guys suck shit. You know that? Nah, just dude. Get into- just walk in with a bird jersey on. Everyone would respect you. A black guy wearing the only famous white guy jersey in Boston. That fucking well, rules. Well, because Boston has just not even sports wise. Historically, I think they are kind of known as a little bit of a. Uh, hey, where you come from, bud? Town. And yeah. it's a <laughs> no, just being I, like, where you from? Just being like, oh, I'm from Southie. It's like, no, where you fucking from? From, yeah, is yeah. It, isn't is does Boston kind of so to like put this into Arizona terms? If you're from Chandler, but you claim Phoenix, that's a problem in Boston, right? It's like if you're yeah. from, you have to if you're be from, from Chandler. Like, you're from Mexico, according to Boston standards. <laughs> yeah. You have to be from like three area codes to be from yeah, Boston. Yeah, and if you're and, like, from Tucson, it. you're from Iraq. It's mm-hmm. pretty much like a different, like, that's not even the same type of people. Well, that's just the East Coast in general, because you could be like, the, the divide between Jersey and New York is huge. It's bloods and crips damn near. But geographically, it's, what, 38 miles? It's like you could get from you could get from Manhattan to New Jersey in like the time it takes you to get from Phoenix to like I don't know Buckeye, and they're like this is a completely different thing. We rep a I whole know, different the city, set. Fuck the you. The states are so grouped over here 
that they make it like a real big thing where they're just like, oh, we have a show in New Jersey. It's like, do you mean like 20 minutes away? Well, I'm isn't like, it nuts on- though how the, the craziest parts to me is how the accents change. You drive three hours away and that is a complete different accent than geographically 150 miles. It's nuts to me that like you go from Philly to New York, New York to Boston, New York to all these different, and they have like fucking accent there's that doesn't exist you don't go from arizona to new mexico and there's like a drastic difference in the way these fools talk it's all unless they're like unless you got yeah, that in arizona they speak you. english in new mexico they speak spanish it's different <laughs> no you got that you know what my favorite accent is that i'll miss do people talk with it out there or is there a different uh like do do cubans and dominicans and puerto ricans talk with a different english spanish accent than mexicans well, they all you know, kind of try to talk like black guys, so it's it's di- I mean, I'm being honest. They sound just like just Spanish black guys, like all of them. They just be like they use the N word at the same velocity. I, I the amount of times I've walked into like a smoke shop and I'm like, this is by my terms, like from Arizona, a light skinned Latina woman. And she's dropping yeah. like hard end bombs on her phone while she's like FaceTiming her friend and giving me an elf bar. And I'm just <laughs> like, I guess you're Dominican and that's just cool here because we're in they, New York. They really operate over the uh the ruling if just not white. That's the that's the rule over there. As long as you're just not blue eyed, blonde hair, you're good to go. And even then you could be you could be like legit Spanish. Blue eyed, blonde hair, Spanish. Even then fuck. you have to you have to have fucking a haircut like how Andrew wants with like the cut in fade and shit like that. No, that's what Daniel said I should get. That's not what I wanted. I said I, that's the reason I don't want that. He thinks he's destined for the Edgar I know. Cut. I'm it's like crazy. getting the haircut of every Latina dude who gets rocked on World Star Hip Hop for like someone touching his girlfriend. And then he's like, yo, what the fuck, bro? And then gets yeah. fucked up. Like that yeah. is that dude 100% out of 100% times. All right, so here we go. I think we should uh, – let's get into it a little bit. Let's say you're at the point well, where – Well, let's talk about – well, let's talk about what what venues would you be most interested in, like, doing well in outside of Arizona? I would really like – just personally, I think I, the, the genre Like, ones of, that I would say you would have personal ties to because that's ones – like, personal ties to and or places that I've heard of are cool – and or just like would want to be like attached to i already got um, three right now well then okay a lot of my family's from new mexico which is not like a traditionally big comedy all the they did get a new uh what is it called andrew the the comedy club out there quesesda it starts like a qu they have like a new 300 seater room it's like halfway all right um la quinta in yeah la quinta in ballroom it's doing okay they have two shows <laughs> yeah. on saturdays comedy uh, no, at la quinta I, <laughs> Quizada comedy club Quizada yeah yeah it, which I've seen some guys do I think it'd be fun just because I have family there it'd be so sick to go to like downtown Albuquerque and sell out a rock club of like 300 seats and and fuck around for because it's like part Navajo part Mexico it's it's Arizona but a little bit more country which I like yeah. I think there's gonna I would love to I would love to do okay in the 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 more like rural states right where it's like bros don't tradition not the south but like middle america new mexico do a nice off-market texas like i think there's there's so many untapped markets to go to that like traditionally you see the big ones i would love to go to like a, a rio rancho or a santa fe and really and really just turn shit out i would the the first one i'm gonna bring up uh nashville I would love to do some work in Nashville. Because what they got, they got a, they got a Zanies over there. But aside from just like the the comedy scene, the bar slash country That's music what scene I'm over there. Saying. I'm saying, yeah. I'm like, if I can sell out a show and then just hit the fucking country music strip, just going to bar to bar, just having like fucking rodeo honky tonks, walking around with a bunch of fucking good old boys it seems like a fun time dude that's half of the fun to me about what the professional side of this job is it's like all right it's cool to like be good in the city you live in and be able to work at all the clubs in that city but like half of the shit that like i'm interested in is like the same reason that like football was fun it's like every weekend we're in a fucking we're in a different place it's like we get on a plane and it's not like you're spending a week there it's like you get on a plane get there handle business get on a plane and fucking dip 
But like while you're there, the thing that football didn't allow is like you were practicing. I think it'd be so fun to like if you land in Green Bay to go do like a whole Packers stadium tour and like get to see where they manufacture Sorry. like cheeses and shit like that. I think it would be so fun to like go around all these different places. One day. One day this shit will allow. No, I know. I know. It's like I love I love the there's gonna be like I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a point in both of our careers where we're like kinda looking past that. And we're just like, but while I'm while I'm here right now, I'm like, dude, if I'm going somewhere else, if I'm going to Boston, I want to do all the tourist shit because I've right. never been there. I'm like, I want to go to like, I want to go see like all the fucking like founding father stuff that they have. I want to see all the history shit. I want to see where they had the Boston Tea Party. I want to see right. where they like all all that jazz. I want to see the harbor. Yeah. I want to go do all that. Same way for like Philadelphia. Like it, what another place that I wanted to go to. That uh, I would say probably Orlando, just because I grew up there a little bit. I've been to Orlando, and, yeah, yeah. And I, it like, dude, I would love to just be like, yo, after the show, we're all hitting fucking City Walk, we're hitting Disney City Walk, we're gonna go to House of Blues, have a fucking good ass time, and then Is we're that gonna a jazz go club? All, like, yeah, yeah, and so well, it's like a rock venue, the House of Blues. Like, they got, like, Cirque du Soleil over there. Like, I just, honest, I'm such a sucker for, like, the big corporate entertainment establishment shit. Like, so I'm like just those. being like, Minions bring you this Coca-Cola. And I'm like, God damn right they do, banana. Right. And, like, just drink it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very consumerist in that aspect. But I grew up next to there. I grew up in Kissimmee. So I was, like, partway. So Wait, do you like, say Kissimmee? I always thought it was Kissimmee. You say uh, Kissimmee? Well, it's it, uh, it, people. Uh, it's like uh, potato, potato. It's uh, Kissimmee or uh, Kissimmee. Okay. Because one, the only the only times I've been to Orlando, we went for two Pop Warner championships, and they rented out uh, Universal Studios, and we got yeah. to just go run around yeah. like no no wait for lines, no nothing. It was fun that's as fuck. What, uh, that's what they did for my eighth grade graduation. It was like our uh, like celebration gift. For like us graduating, it was like us and three yeah. other schools all went to Universal. And yeah, they we had, got like, Disneyland. Yeah, dude, and like they didn't even do it in Arizona, and I was so pumped that I was in Florida for that time because, dude, it was the best. My buddy like got hit on like a hundred and eighty times by other girls from other places. Like he was like just started weightlifting, and girls like look at him to be like, dude, he got like three girls being like, do you want to be my boyfriend? And he's like, no. <laughs> and just like having to walk your ass, I'm like Hunter's Dude. man. Tell me, like, tell me how simple life was when those were the biggest moments of your life. Like in in middle school in a in Arizona, we got to go to like the big water park. That was like our end of the year. I missed it. Oh, my mom, fucking hitting up my, Sunsplash. Yeah, my mom made me miss my seventh grade one because I had to see, and she made me stay home, and I cried the entire day because that's like that's your club when you're fucking twelve. It's like that. Oh, everyone's going to Sunsplash in the fourth quarter, and we already fucking took our finals or whatever. And you're, you know, you're bullshit in the last week of seventh grade. And it's like, I can't go to that. There's going to be fucking prepubescent bitches in bikinis, and you're going to yeah, take well, your that mom away from sucks, me. Sucks. So. Yeah, yeah, your mom's like the your fucking. Mom's, your mom. Yeah. I don't want to. Don't don't take this the wrong way, but I know you won't. Your mom's kind of a bitch. I dog. know. No, buddy. Dude, <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, dude. I hope I hope I don't mean to like be disrespectful or anything like god forbid that's the last thing i want to do but your mom's like a whore cunt and i think that she her should, being like, a whore has nothing to do with why i couldn't go to sunsplash in seventh no, grade you no, watch her <laughs> yeah no who was she, gonna watch Devin at the house <laughs> oh my god it was, yeah. yeah that was those are those are those are uh and dude the fact that you didn't commit matricide is so crazy to me no, the fact that I didn't beat up my whole hey, five six hey, white family as a giant seventeen year old is the amount Daniel, of Do you even know what matricide means? No, I really rolled past that. I didn't think you were gonna call me on it like a fucking <laughs> dickhead. Like a dickhead. <laughs> it's definitely a death of a certain people because I'd means that, but what is match? What is let me let mean? me Andrew, if you could give me a quick Google. I know I'm, what it is, yeah. It's killing your mother, right? Yeah. It's uh, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Matricide, ma matricide, yeah. It's uh, pa and ma. That's yeah. the that's the Latin. First. Latin. Nah, I wouldn't do that. But we ain't talking no more. Internal affairs. How we doing? Join the fucking join the ten dollar McBaller follower at Gus level. 
Yeah, dude. It's not great. Is she not movies. coming to the wedding though? For real? No, and they're um, barring my sister from coming. That's gay. Hell yeah. I want to go to New Orleans to sell out my shows. <laughs> I was, that was that was my Good, last, yeah. What Andrew? That was my about. last one. My last, the third of my last was New Orleans. Yeah. So you guys want to go to big cities, basically? I, I, I want New Orleans. I want Southern California, and I want strangely, I want Colorado. Am I wrong? Denver, Denver would be nice. Yeah. Am I wrong that my three are like the Nate tour? I would love to go to Tuscaloosa and sell 500 tickets and then watch a Tide game in the afternoon. I would. That would be so cool. Like the way that Shane did his last tour, if I ever got success, would be the way I would do it. Or Bill Burr did it with baseball where it's like, all right. No, he I did it with watch- football. He followed the entire like – he was at like every game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he followed – yeah. I thought Bill did it with uh, – I thought he, like, moved a lot of his tour around, like, when the, the Red Sox were playing. So he, like, went around to yeah. follow the – Was it the Red Sox? I thought he, it was – I thought it was, like uh, – um, I thought it was the football team for Boston. But I'm maybe the Patriots. But, yeah, there's been a couple guys. Like, to me, that's where I would use, like – because, like, when you're when – you're, I mean, levels ahead of where we're at. But it's, like, we're at the point where you're, like, a one-night headliner. You take whatever you can oh. fucking get. Yeah. Even a weekend guy where you're not selling out most shows, you take whatever you can get. If you – God allows you to get to that point where you're, like, okay, the Broncos are playing in L.A. on Sunday. I'm going to go down and do fucking La Jolla and then drive up. And, like, that would be so sick to me to be able to follow around the Huskies and be, like, well, and plus, Oregon, and I think Reggie, going Reggie to the con- Conquest was following the Eagles. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Yeah, just go to the fucking uh, – in fucking Michael Turner was following the Bengals. Yeah. yeah there's, there's well, some... that was also because he was working the events, too, yeah, so that the, makes sense. But it didn't start like that. He was he was going to a lot of the games. Like, there's, there's no coincidence based off that. Well, to me, that would be my perfect, like – if my my a lot of comics want to do like SNL or get on like some big show, my big show would be uh, the big show. No, <laughs> no it, <laughs> it would be uh, it would be being able to do some sort of like getting the rights to NFL films because that's all I want. Like Pat McAfee, he does he took over for Sports Center. That's how I big think, that nigga got. I think Stav was following the the the, the Ravens. No, as he was well. following, but the difference is you can't show. I want to be able to show highlights, and I think the area we're going towards ESPN, all these big like old school kind of media conglomerates are kind of moving towards. They realize they can make more money if they give because before the old model is you just give the rights to the sport to ESPN or Sports Center, and they're the only ones that have rights to it. If you have a podcast and you show a highlight of an NFL game, you're going to get stricken down, you're fucking dumb, fuck you. I think they're going to start diversifying and being like, why would I just give it to ESPN? They already kind of do it. Like Monday Night Football, they have Eli and Peyton Manning on ESPN2, and they're watching the same game, but it's like those guys as the commentators, and they get a nice fucking realm. Why wouldn't yeah, they I get want... a good amount of people watching they, that shit. They get it, right. So they on had ESPN... Snoop Dogg on it. Exactly. I think they're one realm away from the next step will be on ESPN three then during fucking Monday Night Football. Yeah, that's, do you know what I honestly, it's starting off right now because like Do you know what I think is also gonna happen? Hmm. I think uh, dude, tell me if I'm not I think this is a called shot, all right? So from what I can tell, so Jason Kelsey just retired from the Eagles. Yeah, what I, love I think is gonna happen so Jason Kelsey just retired. Their podcast is enormous. That's New who Heights gonna is, bring up. That's his who brother's gonna, bring up. gonna marry Taylor Swift in the biggest wedding of the century. Yeah, and then the his... guy's gonna marry Taylor Swift. He's also gonna retire. I'm assuming they're gonna go to the Super Bowl one more time, try to get the three ring. He's and got then... like another seven years in his career. Uh, maybe not seven, but he's only he's only twelve years in. Which in mo- in the modern day NFL, he has four or five more like good years of playing he's with not Patrick he's Mons. not he's not gonna finish those years he's gonna finish with the amount of brain cells that he fucking has before he beats taylor swift to death in like a fucking gym room <laughs> and, <laughs> the biggest wedding yeah. and then the biggest funeral of all time yeah dude oh before God. he sends a fucking bow flex through the back of her head <laughs> 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 we got another sweet take hell yeah that better make yeah. the real motherfucker sending a p90x disc in the back of Taylor Swift. yeah but, you want to see an insanity workout I'll yeah you before insane. he sends a 45 pound plate like a discus through her bird like <laughs> rib cage we've had a spit take in 90 episodes <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. He's like, you're not making an album about me, bitch. You're dead. 
<laughs> oh, dude, Junior Seau's out and fucks everything just up. Just screaming, we're never getting uh, back together as he's, like, beating her we... in with, like, they'll never put you back together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they'll never, oh never, never, God. never put you back, put you back together. together. Your friend said to my friend said to your friends, I'm bad for you. And we... <laughs> they'll yeah. never, they, never find you. They are. They're going to get... I could see those guys becoming the new, like, Sunday night football. Yeah. That's what they'll I'm have, saying. I feel like he's going to yeah. retire. They're going to take that just up to Sports Center or just make their own thing with it. Because honestly, I feel like with the amount of like, dude, Shannon Sharp's podcast with him just being out on the side, that's doing really well away from sports. A lot of people in the sports centric media are doing well away from sports. And like, there's definitely going to be some conglomerate in Hollywood or something like that that's going to take advantage of it and form like a news style espn based off of like shorts so, podcasts like right where all I this love, stuff where i'd love to fill in like do you know how on uh the tnt nba live they have it shack and er, uh shack ernie Kenny the jet and charles you know how he, ernie is the the white guy like the yeah. he's basically the straight man right yeah but he is a college educated broadcasting school whatever i love ernie but my what i think the shit's going to be going towards because I'll never be able to know more than a professional athlete, even though I played at a decently high level. But you subtract Ernie for a comedian who like has a background in sport. Shane could be Ernie, and then you surround Shane with. Well, that's what Pat three- McAfee is showing works. Right Shane's now. basically yeah, exactly. He and he tried comedy first, and then, exactly. So in ten years from now, I would love. I'm gonna have just enough buddies that are done playing in the NFL that like. Well, like enough also, shit. Pat McAfee has the bleed through to where it's not only uh like he's in the WWE as well. That's what I'm saying. No, right. that's what I was saying. Where it's like he's proven that being the funny correspondent on a show is what's gonna carry a show. Well, because it's it's. All right, what do you want? Do you want sports knowledge? And I I do kind of like the old. ESPN speak because it's tune outable, right? I can throw Monday Night Football on the TV. These niggas are not going to say anything interesting. They're saying they're not cussing. They're saying real generic shit. I can't tune out. But if you were to take the parameters off, and now these motherfuckers can be like, this nigga dropped the. Oh my god! Like I would, you can't. Tune yeah, out. the amount of no, okay. the, the inner the they're internet doing that with soccer in- right now. They're doing that with soccer. Like soccer, they have two shows that are killing it right now, and that's because they're they have four players on. Who are like, like they they give the insight where it's like this motherfucker sucks. <laughs> this guy you want not good. so you need that you need that because yeah. if I say a guy sucks, you're like you didn't play in the NFL. You're like, yeah, I, I get that. But if these you guys get, are World Cup winners that get, are being yeah. like this guy fucking. If stinks. you get Pele in there, that's like this nigga's weak. You're like, yeah, All right. and then I yeah. tag it up as the comedian. It's yeah. like that to me is a way more. Do you know what inter- I honestly think? Something that we're moving towards, which is like kind of wild, right? So, like, these these podcast studios, I'm assuming they're going to try to do something where it's, like, a YMS thing, where yeah. they have multiple, like, multiple podcasts on the same, like, conglomerate YMH. network. Yeah, yeah, YMH. I yeah, let yeah, it yeah, ride. You got me. Oh, I did Your Movie Sucks instead of Your Mom's House. <laughs> Which also, YMS, Your Movie Sucks, a fucking fantastic channel that you guys another name, uh, Another name for Kill Tony, YMS, Your Minute Sucks. <laughs> your Minute Sucks. Yeah, Your suck Minute Sucks. Shit. Yeah, that's true. Um, no, but uh, what I could do, can you just see this? Where it's just like a conglomerate of like fucking sports podcast playing 24 hours on a YouTube channel that is essentially just a ESPN. fucking TV channel. It's, it's just a TV channel. Well, that's what we're going to come full circle back to. All the big ones are already doing it. Andrew's even talking about it with like, because obviously we want to come to to New York and, and get a show going at some point. And he was talking about expansion and going to different markets. And this. that's the, I think, the fucking route. I thought about it. I was wrong. Ah, Take that to the bank. I'll go. never say it again. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think that is the give it 10 years. Because already right now, there's already so many streamers. Give it 10 years. Some some streamer will fall off enough. Peacock will fall off enough. That Disney will buy them. Or Netflix will fall off enough. That Paramount will buy. And then you'll just have, you really will be able to buy the just the bundle where you get There'll, there'll be somebody that has enough of the shit. You're like, okay, that's just like the big one. That's the Apple of the streamers because they have Paramount, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney. And, oh, okay, I'm missing NBC. I don't watch NBC. That's fine. like So you get that big bitch. I think YouTube is going to be the exact same way. Well, you just buy YouTube TV 
Because eventually all these things, they're going to offer, they haven't done it yet, and I hate saying it publicly, but they're going to start offering uh, some sort of paywall. They make too much money to not. They're going to offer the free shit too, but like, we're going to start doing, we're going to post a free Well, they tried that on, with YouTube Red and it failed horribly. Because the, the back I went, there I, there I still have YouTube Red. I have YouTube Premium right now. I was going to, I have YouTube Premium too. There wasn't the infrastructure and no one offered it. So right now all YouTube Premium does basically is takes away the commer- commercials. But no, be and a you point. can download videos to your YouTube and account you can, so you and you can, can turn it off. Right. But you don't get exclusive content. Which They're is very offer... helpful when you download six-hour Family Guy compilations and you have a plane to catch. I re- I, okay, <laughs> so so for that, they'll give you that. But right now, there's no exclusive content. Like, even Instagram has subscriptions at this point where, like, you can – if you get to a certain followership, you can offer subscriptions. And it's like that's – they offer a paywall. YouTube is so big. They're going to get to a point where we're going to have to start doing – we can you know talk about it if we move it off Patreon or not, but like we're gonna have to start doing a private YouTube video and then a a public YouTube. Yeah, because right now YouTube subscriptions are mainly only used by OnlyFans people. Pretty much, it's like, do you want to see tits? Okay, but we're, it's gonna start getting to the point. The second the big guys do it, Rogan will never do it because he's not a subscription guy. But the second YMH starts releasing and they give them the oh, opportunity tears. to. Like five, right. ten. Well, level. the thing is, is that they, right. some people are already doing that, but they're doing that on their own website because well, no, they know they will make. That's them essentially more money. what Patreon or there's other one. The second that the bit, because why would you have a second part? Like, why would we have a Patreon if YouTube offer? Like, we have way more YouTube subs than we do Patreon followers. So and so, so with all the big guys, unless you're even Matt and Shane have more Patreon subs than they do, or more YouTube subs than they do Patreon subscribers. So it's like, why would you not just move it all onto one fucking Onto right. the biggest platform. Before before we do keep going down this rabbit hole, we do have other things today. Right. Oh, yeah, right. We're supposed to be talking about what's I know. This are. is far too business Racy as hell. You know what? I, I mean, maybe it's just, I'm a comic. I love when niggas talk about kind of behind the business shit. I know. I just, we have other things. We, we just had right. such a low frame You're of reference right. of behind the business. I mean, we're not even in front of the business. We are in. <laughs> we're not even an eye line. Of yeah, the we bi- are in another room while business is happening outside. <laughs> we sell zero, we sell zero tickets on the road as a whole. And we're, we're like, actually, JP, I- <laughs> JP just hit me up to headline for $200. And I'm like, that's a good deal. <laughs> We're a fly on the wall inside of the yeah. building of business. Yeah, all of us currently file something else on our taxes. Yeah, t- I'm <laughs> Shane Gillis's premier, oh, hey, guy at the stand. <laughs> <laughs> he said, good set tonight, one Damn. time, and I've never lived that down. Nothing puts more shit in Dude, I thought I said something stupid in front of Shane the other week, but I, like, I've seen him three times since, and like I feel like there's nothing. Oh, that, so like, he's popping back into New York? Well, he was in he's New York for shows. SNL. And, oh, then, man, uh, Radio and then City. he was doing Chappelle shows at the stand. And so he did Legion of Skanks and then several shows at Chappelle. And I was getting bumped all weekend from Chappelle. <laughs> so I would just be sitting there tired. And then Shane would come through and he'd be like, yo, what's up, man? And I'd be like, hey, hey, dude. Hi. <laughs> just, kno- just knowing he's taking your time. Just be like, hey, man. You're like, hello. And I'm like, dude, you're having such a fun night in such a fun week in such a fun life. And I have to work at a kindergarten tomorrow. And I'm mad I'm here. I'm mad I'm here right now. You just walked in from somewhere cool. You're going to go do my time on stage. You're going to go somewhere cooler than here. Yeah, you're walking up and we're walking up to someone whose life is a movie. And then... (laughs) You're walking in. I see you. Not only are you taking my time, I can no longer hang out in the green room anymore. Thanks, Shane. I yeah, appreciate you. You're yeah, I have, to, I have to sit up. No, I can't hang out in the green room, and I can't hang out at the reg- regular table because the people who have, would usually hang out in the green room on a Saturday night are hanging out there. So I have to go to a side conjoining table where I have to go smoke weed in the cold and then come back and host this buttfuck show. Now I have just to go for, sit in the dining section like a fucking yeah, bitch. Yeah, I have to show, sit in the dining section and host a show while Dave Chappelle comes upstairs with a JBL blaring through my show. And I have to go up there and just be like, I'm not going to shock you guys, but that was a black man. And no one laughs. <laughs> That's so shitty to know that he. It's crazy you can make so much money in the world. Because by the way, broke black people do that as well. They just walk around. That's what I'm saying. You should have got it. You should have got a laugh. 
No, it's everyone really there's everyone there's yes men. Even the fucking crowd. They they're like, maybe I'll be able to fucking talk to that guy after the show. I'm not gonna laugh at him. Literally for this dickhead. Literally <laughs> someone blaring Kodak black up the fucking minute hallway of the stand. I go up there, I'm like, I'm not gonna shock you guys, but that was an African American person. Well, and even- everyone was just sitting there like, hmm. And I'm like, have you never been on the train or a bus? Yeah. Have you? Are we just gonna sit here and look at each other in the face Whoa. and realize that's? Uh, oh, oh, do you hear guys blaring Jordan Peterson on the train? No, dude. <laughs> Lex Friedman just going going to town yeah. on the J. Did you say that? Because that is very funny. If you just went full <laughs> tilt, I'm like, bro, are you fucking lying to me right now? No, I didn't do that. Yeah, Chappelle, are, we, are we just gonna sit here and look in the face everyone. and someone? We're gonna realize someone gets on the fucking subway with coattails and a goddamn uh, like fucking bow tie and starts playing opera on a JBL, you're out of your goddamn mind. Realistically, right? even racial shit aside, it's crazy for a 55-year-old just guy to be like, have you heard this new Kodak? And you're like, take that? Why? Why, why do I give a fuck? Dude, when you're smoking crack instead of going to Africa, you gotta do some shit, you know? Now, while we're being racist. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> we're not. Andrew's, I wasn't Andrew's being racist. <laughs> 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 while Tristan's I, on his tirade that'll be I'm on not TMZ being in racist. 10 years. I'm not being racist. I heard that from a close consultant. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that from no. a close personal friend. Uh, we have a quiz today that we want to do. and we want Because we were talking about this earlier, like which state we would love to to go back and sell out a, uh, a major uh, like show in. Mine are, let me reiterate, Nashville, Orlando, New Orleans. Before we get into this, Southern California, anyone else? New Orleans, and then uh, Denver. Go. Do you know what? I'm going to add a fourth, Maine. If we're adding fourths, I'm going Philly. I'm going Pennsylvania. Do you know what? I would love guys... to, Dude, just headlining a ski lodge in front of a bunch of people in one piece ski suits. I mean, I would let that. I was going to ask if anyone else had to go like cripplingly piss and we could take a break, but. Uh, no one, no one added uh, Phoenix. To me, that's what? my number no, one. Yo, fuck Phoenix. this state, bro. No, no, no. And, I, and I'm not. It, but it, do you know how cool it would be? Think about I was how many assuming. Times. I was assuming Phoenix was out of out of the question because duh, that's all going to be our number one. No, well, but why though? Because maybe your because reason why is different from than my Phoenix, bud. In the same respect that I'm semi from Florida, having grown up a little bit there. And, like, born there. Like, I feel somewhat tied to it. I would love to sell out Orlando, where I spent the most time. See, that's, how I, feel, I think, that's how I feel about Phoenix. I'm mainly from California. I'm somewhat from Phoenix. No, that's what I'm saying, though. I think no, I'm my fully reasoning, from Phoenix. I'm somewhat from Florida, in my eyes. I think, yeah. I think my reasoning for wanting to do my hometown is different. It's to sell out and show a big dick your mom. All right, never mind. I stand corrected. Uh, it's to deny her tickets. <laughs> it's to have a do not Daniel let in was trying list. to hold his cards close to his chest, but re- not realizing Little, that he was looking the, at the back of all the cards and yeah, he was showing yeah. them to like, everyone oh, else. I was showing mommy <laughs> issues on the back of my cards this whole time. Fuck, let me turn these around. Mommy out. issues, dude, your cards are hmm, transparent. Oh, all red everything. ones with the fun engraving I see. No, yeah, but we have a quiz that we wanted to do today because we wanted to see which states we actually were to see if our states align up with the state we okay, are. Okay, so this I isn't like... who's the most racist states. This no, is... that's gonna... at, so we're gonna we're gonna do our states, and then I'm gonna disclose after we find out our results which states are the most racist. Can I please? It took a while. I, can I please? I'm gonna shoot piss? my shot. I'm gonna say Ohio. I feel like I don't know why. <laughs> can I You're please? Not the Puma Puma to, You're not the Puma so Poppy, bad. dude. You're not the Puma Poppy. I'm going. Who I'm the going fuck to is you? the Puma Poppy? You get into yours. Turner. Figure out what the Puma Poppy is. Oh, Turner. <laughs> You're not the Puma. Po- You're not him, dude. All right. Not, I just say it's just somewhere where there's nothing. I feel like I'm a <laughs> nut. I mean, like Idaho. That would probably be me. Bro, just shy in home Wyoming, at, dude. I'm home. I'm home with the potato, baby. <laughs> I'm killing in front of livestock right now, dude. Did an hour to nature. More Shout like out, dead stock. Rolling. I'm killing. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we had to paper the room with scarecrows. There wasn't <laughs> enough ticket <laughs> yeah. sales. There's fucking A5 <laughs> wagyu in this fucking room, dude. <laughs> dude, what would be like like the least? What would be your least favorite? city to be like damn i sold out there fuck <laughs> now i gotta go like pyongyang north korea <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm doing six sold out shows in kiev right now fuck. oh shit dude <laughs> the laugh factory gaza is <laughs> asking for me 
God damn. Six sold out shows. Two on a Sunday. Never heard of it. But... <laughs> Two on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> We have fun when Daniel's gone. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, shit, he's back. Oh, no, he's back. (laughs) I I honestly think I had a dream the other night that Daniel had a Coolio haircut, and I really think you should get one. (laughs) Dude, that would be so wild. Just, like, clearly balding. No, just just clearly balding. coming out and shit Yeah, just clearly balding with branches, looking like a Rugrats character. We're back in, boys. Oh, Jesus. Do I look like a bee rabbit or a Klansman? Uh, A little bit of of both. Or, like, a hammerhead shark. No, you look like a black guy's white girlfriend. (laughs) <laughs> baby come on let's just go <laughs> baby it's not worth it come on come on baby let's go that's him getting in fight of in a fight in front of a movie theater come on baby let's go come on i've seen all that right. so many times dude all right let's take this quiz boys dude oh my god at the fucking harkins on 99th where the where the 10 turns into the 101 you know that harkins over yeah, there yeah yeah by the in avondale by the costco yeah yeah, in Avondale by the Costco, I went and saw fucking uh, the NWA movie there on opening night, and dude, just absolutely just two drops of cream in a black pot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Couple dude. splashes of half and half in there too. Uh, dude, <laughs> it just me and my friends. Everyone was singing along. They were like, "Fuck the police, coming straight from the underground." I'm like, "Hating on it." You know, because I'm yeah. brown, you know, like uh, two yeah. yins in a theater of Yang, just a bunch of Yang. Around. No, we were like 17 and I had to sneak in. So we're like, it was like, it, dude, it was it was like sneaking into a nightclub in a Harkins. It was say, so what do you crazy. Think, what do you think Yang means? Underage niggas? No, it means black people. <laughs> I thought it was a Chinese last name. No, there's two yins in a theater full of Yangs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's get back in. Now that we're racist, let's get this quiz. Uh, Am I going to get in trouble in the future because of this podcast? Have you thought about that? All right, now we're back. I just needed to so I could see. Now this. we're back? Just so I could see in the editing. I like, thought we've been back. I We've been back. <sighs> I thought you were doing a YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just making it. I thought it was part I, of your culture to start Because I'll dancing. know that we, f- yeah. we fucked off for a little while. So I thought you were trying to summon until... Raymond a good harvest. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing a rain dance. No, that's that's uh, that's Superman. That hoe. I know no, that. I'm doing a I'm doing a view dance to hope this episode gets blessed by the view god. I'm about to call it North American North American Pavement Ape Four because the last one did 317 views. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Found we the, why don't we just change the name of the podcast? To North, North American, American Pavement Ape. I'm this close, niggas. I'm this close. <laughs> it's like we're rejecting success. It's three. It's Napa? 300 views an episode. Napa? <laughs> Welcome back. I'm your host of the Napa podcast, Resident Napa, Pavement Ape. Napa Daniel Motorsports. <laughs> and I'm the sideline correspondent. You're on the yeah. side fucking vine. It's <laughs> the side vine. Tristan's the side pit branch. monkey. Don't look into that. <laughs> I'm really, you know, how they changed the, the Edge of Tomorrow, that Tom Cruise movie. They changed it to, it, it has a new name now. They just named it something else. It was called The Edge of Tomorrow, and now they named it something else. It was else. Edging Till Tomorrow? That's what I'm talking about. We're th- that was a huge movie. They took a huge movie title, which is like, nah, we they, like it they, better now. They changed it? Look it up. It's yeah, still Edge of Tomorrow. It's still called Edge of Tomorrow. Name change to what? There's nothing on there? I looked up Edge of Tomorrow. So comedians IMDb were still lying back. on a podcast. God damn it. I gotta stop listening. To yeah, and I said I like other races. We lie on these things. <laughs> I called my mom. You know, before. you know, fucking. Oh, they're sorry. changing the name of the Bible to Jesus Song Part One. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Let's get this little uh, this little quiz out the way, and then we'll get to the next one. Oh, they might have changed it. Uh, so the thing. So the secondary name for it that people also is "Live Die Repeat" is the. It's like because it's like the motto of the. It's movie. like when a rapper puts out a song, and it's like a. Uh, 
Ran off on the plug twice is a perfect example. It used to be called the Ritz Carlton. That Ed- Edge song. of Tomorrow was the second. It w- with what was the what? It's what the movie was named changed to. Two. So it yeah. was called Live Die Repeat, and yeah. they changed it. Yeah. Exactly. I'm saying big studios have done it. I'm this close to we're doing the North American Pavement 8 podcast. Why not? It juices the numbies. Mach 3. And we've said it <laughs> We've said it enough on this episode yeah. that it's obviously not even a joke anymore. This is North American <laughs> This is North American Pavement 8 4. Hey, 300 new people watching this. How are you doing? And now that you you're actively looking up North American pavement ape, you like that we're going into racism. Soon. That really makes me question America, though. That North American all this makes pavement me think ape is... that we're losing money not posting on Rumble. I it's think, because, dude, I think that's where we. Need I feel to be. like we have something for underlying anti semites to really yes. hold a candle to. Yeah, we need to go on title and we need to go on Rumble and stream. On we need kick. to go on and kick. stream on kick. I mean, yeah, dude, <laughs> it's so crazy. I, I've seen like several like YouTube documentaries about people who are just criminals on kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, are, who are just like literally just sex criminals going on a magel, <laughs> like talking to girls and they blur out their version and they like go on Omegle talking to girls and they're just like, How old are you? And they're like, 16. And he's like, Did you say 18? And she's like, No. <laughs> and he's like, Did you say 18 though? And she's like, Oh, yeah, I guess. And he's like, and, All right, cool. Show me your tits. And that's all cool to go on kick. That's fine. They just let it ride? Dude, one of the founders is donating to his stream. Wow. Hey, I mean, realistically, it's like I kind of think that's the market. You have two options. You either over-regulate a bunch of shit and you piss people off, or you regulate nothing and you piss people off. And I think the regulating nothing is the way to go. Yeah, is there going to be smut porn? Is there going to be child this and that? There's child this. There's <laughs> niggas whose job what it is. What are you is talking to- about, Daniel? There's Are you talking who's... about the justification of, like, you got to break some eggs to make a child pornography online? Shout out Lolly, no, dude. Shout just, out Lolly. I'm just saying there, oh needs, to be God, a, there needs to be a platform that regulates nothing. That's kind of what X is doing. You can, Yeah, the platform should be the inner circles of jail. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying if you post some shit on there, you should be... I think the FBI regulates. Right. It, should be, it should be taken down. So there should be a line where it's like, okay, no kids stuff, no underage this, no, like, non-consenting shit. But it's like... If you want to post fucking death to the president and this, that, and the, it's like, that ain't for me. But as long as you're not like, you know, it's like, yeah, I, feel no, like I, I should, get you. Yeah. yeah. That should Are be you happiest day. traveling by car, <laughs> train, boat, my own two feet? Uh, by the, the uh, by the grace of white power. Underground railroad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Daniel is traveling by how far white nationalism can take him. <laughs> yeah, on the uh, other side of the street. Is my own two bootstraps an answer? <laughs> <laughs> my own two feet, obviously. Daniel is preferring hip-hop. that. It, uh, Daniel is preferring that most people travel by the back of the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my own two feet, probably. I do like walking. Nice whole walk. We're Damn, why are we racist? a racist podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you look like a guy who hits his kid and is fine with it. What are you talking about? What do you mean? You have, a, you have a hood on right now, sideways. You have a sideways hood. That's I nurse Mountain Dew to my child because I want him to have red 40 in his bones. I made sure my kid knew all the back roads on MX versus ATV by the time he was seven and a half. My kid beat Legendary on Halo 3. Um, he beat the flood level before he was six, so I don't know if that means he's going to get straight A's, but I know it's something. I know he has all the skulls. I know that. I don't know if he's going to get an A or not, but he got them right. goddamn skulls. I know right, he. Tristan, what you got? Um, I'm happiest traveling by train. Yeah, okay. I put train as I well. I like a train. I went to the Amtrak for the first time in my life when I was on the East Coast last time. It was kind of nice. Train is a good time. Takes Can't a little bit backwards. longer. Can't sit backwards. Can you sit backwards on a train? Like go if you're going this way, can you f- sit facing this way? Depends on the train. I I, I gotta sit going forward. Otherwise, I get real fucking in yeah, my IBS. What an alpha starts acting. What an alpha. Acting. My IBS. Yeah, if I was on the Trojan horse, I'd have to be facing the right way. <laughs> be like, I know we're supposed to sprawl out and fuck up this army, but can you switch me? Do you guys hear quick? JBL playing Kodak coming towards us? I think there's people in that horse. It's a black guy. Yeah. I think there's people in that horse. 
Who's in that carriage with the big C branding on the side? <laughs> Who put a Cadillac the medallion on the front of their carriage? Yeah. Dude. Why does this guy's logo the Mexican flag over, <laughs> a, over a C? Interesting. <laughs> Is he Spanish? You, no, he's not. Do you prefer live in the big city or somewhere more rural? Um, if, if you could sell out, if you could sell a thousand seats in a market, now think about this question. Any market would, you want, a thousand I seats. Would, I would choose to say, can't I live somewhere in between? What does that mean to you? Like Avondale? Like where you came from? Like in the like... perfect world, living outside of the city, like a little bit to where it's like not too in- inconvenient to get in there. Like you can see the city when you're driving into it. It's always beautiful, all that jazz. Okay. I'm a city boy. Uh, I belong in the boondocks. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, can I live somewhere in between is probably my answer too. Yeah, or are no. we doing the you can't take niggas answers? Because it did make the princess quiz. <laughs> <laughs> It's like fuck. You took the obvious answer. All right, I'll do. Uh, as long as I'm on a beach, I'm happy. No, because- no, no. Because this has ramifications towards the end. So you choose okay. what you I want. I feel like okay, you'd yeah, say I'd live- like to work in the city, live in the suburbs. I feel like that's more your style. Yeah, because yeah. if it's up to me, I want a yard on both ends. Give me a front and a backyard. Give me a you know place I can park my boat. Give me a you know like a, a decent amount of space. Cause I Damn, you're massive. just making a white trash front yard with just like a boat parked with a hood no, over it asshole, for four no, years it's straight. A, it's a classy nigga who likes to fish his front who yard. Who has a I marina, have a, dude. No, they have, have a, a boat, jet have ski a... with the fucking battery out of it with hey, building shut up. dust. There's nothing wrong about that. No, I That's how I grew up. Do you have a jet ski not. building dust in your garage, Andrew? Not in the garage, in the backyard. Yeah. Fuck you. No, this isn't eastbound and down. I'm talking Rash, about being dude. able to have like uh, my perfect world. I have an F-150 Raptor parked out front. Taylor has an Escalade of matching color right out front. And then we have a boat. Bubble uh, jacket come with that Escalade? No. <laughs> and then we have a boat awning where I can park my, where I can park my Bassmaster 350. Buddy, let me tell you, that's... I'm going to have a bass boat one day. So nice. I'm going to have such a sick... Like, fucking, uh, I'm going to have such a sick jet ski. Dude, ch- that that I'm, I'm be jet ski 47 people. by the time you people. have jet ski, dude, I'm jet ski people, dude. dude if I'm you jet don't ski think people, I know my realm, if you I'm don't think at people. 39 I'm gonna be doing wheelies on a dirt bike, you're out of your goddamn. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the new Uzi video, just do going around Chicago doing wheelies on an ATV. <laughs> yeah, just get weirdly into powerlifting for the first time in my life. Just be ripped, like, stand-up shooting a fifty caliber machine gun. Just being like, do you know Tristan just put out muscle powder? This is crazy. I don't even that know what's seems going to be, on with it. I mean, that seems to be how it works. Dave Chappelle got randomly jacked at 47. When the fuck does that? When does that happen? And he smokes cigarettes. He's on all the stuff. He's on all of the stuff. It's crazy to be just, because he's not like, he's not Marvel ripped, but he has, you know, a little bit of a dad gut. He's stocky. His shoulders, bro. But you saw early Chappelle, like when he was our age. That nigga was fucking skinny and went. Ah. I I dapped but, him up on uh, the other night at the stand. He's that's a, big a big guy. That's a big man because he's what six two, maybe six one. Yeah, he's like six two. Like Shane and them are the same height, but he's just got shoulders. You know, he's like he's a dick motherfucker, bro. And that's not natural, by the way. Kind of yeah, not, no, it's gear for no, sure. That's not natural. He's on peptides. He's on this. He's on sideways. He's he's on all this. Yeah, shit. do you think he's gonna be like, do you know what helped me build these muscles? Chicken and brown rice. <laughs> like, <being> like <laughs> hard work ethic. <laughs> hard work ethic. Let me tell you, repeated low rep sets at yeah. a slow weight. You know, really feeling the burn. All right, how important. Is it that you live next to a body of water? I must have water. I um, need water. My answer to this is I need fresh water because I'm a, I don't, I'm not a sea fisherman, and I love, I love fishing. My perfect, if I could live on a, if I could live in Lake Havasu, which is, have you ever been to Havasu? Yeah, it's like a beach. T- it feels yeah, like I've, San Diego. I've, I've blacked out there. Yeah, a few it times. feels like San Diego. I would love to live in a Havasu to where I can have my bass boat. On the water, because the fishing is really good there. I've never been to Lake Havasu. If you're, it's the biggest party spot in the fucking entire, during spring break, like this time, like in April, that shit turns. It goes Havasu, the- it goes it goes Cabo, Miami, ha- uh, Hav- Tahoe, Havasu. Havasu is up there. Havasu yeah. turns the fuck up. And if I could have like a, 
a nice bass boat and just tour around the country and then you know no sunday shows i gotta be back fishing on the lake every sunday oh man so That's, you must have water living by the water is nice but too expensive i'm not a fish i prefer living inland well it says how important right so if i'm broke i'm not sacrificing quality of life just to live around water okay so, so probably uh yeah too expensive right if right. i have the money yeah tristan what you got um, I'd say, uh, uh, I'd say, I, it, it sucks that there is no in between between must have water and it's too expensive. Right. Because you know, like if I can afford a pond, <laughs> I'll hang around a pond. I mean, like I, I would love to live like, I mean, my parents live, I'd say 20 minutes from like water from one of the finger lakes in upstate. So like, it's not too expensive, but it's like achievable. You can go there and swim if you wanted to. People do it all the time. Right, but the equivalent is like the <clears throat> where you can see the East River from your fucking high rise, and then you're paying for like a shit. Ton yeah, of you're a fucking arm and a leg for pretty much something you can't even go into, or else you'd be pulled out by the NYPD. Right, and, and uh, I'd say living by the water is nice, but it's too, too expensive. expensive. Yeah, okay, that's a moderate answer. All right, oh, here we go. Do you like it when the seasons change? Um, I've lived in a place where they've had seasons. When it, when you live in Seattle, there's snow on the ground in the winter, like two days a year. It gets hot in the summer. The leaves fall in the fall. I kind of like it just because we live in Arizona. We grew up in Arizona where it's like there are there's hot and kind of not hot, and that's about it. And like. I fuck, I fuck with the season. I love it when the leaves change. Why not? Yeah, I'd say that's my answer, too. It's someone who says I'm too busy to notice. Like, who the fuck is walking outside and being like, oh, it snowed today? I didn't even notice. Like, what, hallmark, what hallmark life are you living that you're about to change yeah. because someone no, emptied your life? Or you, or you live in, or you live like a, if you, if you work kind of like a lower level job where you show up at 6 a.m. and you don't leave until 4 p.m., it's like, it doesn't matter if it's snowing, if it's raining, if it's like, you're just going to go to work. I, I don't know. That ain't me, but yeah, that's something. That ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what song you were singing, but I just like the energy. Like, <laughs> All right, here we go. Read that. I was wondering. I thought I didn't even know what song Fortunate you guys were song. singing. Yeah, you had you, uh, oh. Daniel. You were so off; it almost sent me on a it different song. Yeah, <laughs> you're I'm like, going. you're like, it ain't me. And like, just like that's not even the tone or cadence or octave <laughs> of the know song. We singing. I just want to be a part of the thing. It ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> I'm no fortunate song, hon. <laughs> <laughs> you took a show tunes fortunate son about Vietnam. <laughs> oh, it ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> it ain't I'm me. no fortunate son. How we doing in the left, huh? <laughs> My best friend got blown up in front of me. Yeah. In front of me. I have his guts on my shirt now. No. Now I'm taking care of his family. <laughs> Watch I'm fucking out. his wife. His Agent son calls me dad. I'm Ag a fortunate son. Yeah. Agent Orange is a <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I see Charlie. <laughs> In the trees. <laughs> In the trees. I'm shit deep to my knees. <laughs> I'm holding guts. Whose are these? It's <laughs> Vietnam. Ba, 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 ba. It's the Vietnamese. Is the beat of a Black Hawk chopper going? There's like hula dancers on the side of a chopper, just being like. That's good. All right, time for a break. Ooh. Shout out to the vets, huh? <laughs> Shout out to the boys holding it. <laughs> yeah, shout out. I saw this little uh, Instagram video earlier mm -hmm. today when it was like it just like a recorded like kind of news camera footage of like someone who was like ten years outside of Vietnam at a bar, just like talking about atrocities, just being like, "Yeah, it was pretty fucked up. I was the only guy like wounded, forty six wounded, fifty seven killed." And just being like, yeah, my whole platoon is wiped out. It was pretty nuts. And just like took a sip of a beer and you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, what <laughs> <the> fuck? <laughs> I'm like, these guys are just hanging out. 
<laughs> like, just being oh, like, weird. yeah, man, pretty messed up. Got shot in the leg, you know, watched two of my friends' bra brain brains blow out, landing on my lap. Two more high lives? Like, fuck, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can I get some pretzels over here? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Keep the nuts coming. Really good. All right, here we go. Right, next time for a break. Woo. Choose your ideal vacation spot. <laughs> Dude, the why why did you read the Woo? The Woo was part of the script. He didn't throw it I know, it I know. I know. But you sold it too hard. <laughs> that was a like beach. some fucking VO commercial work. <laughs> you know, like, great. Time for a break. Whew. Whew. Time for an Activia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, a beach resort, a swanky hotel, wrangling cattle down at the ranch. Hiking and fishing in the mountains. Hiking and fishing. In the I think I'm going hiking and fishing in the mountains. I'm going too. to Swanky Hotel. Swanky Hotel. So, like, your perfect example Swanky is... Hotel run into... What's his name? Uh, the the dude that we, we were there for the birthday? So, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Corey Feldman. Yeah. Corey Feldman run so into you, Corey. So you would rather be at the Four Seasons in, like, New Hampshire versus... Then amongst the Four Seasons? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fine. That makes sense. All right, let me put these in. I want to go yeah. into like I want to go into my tent every night in here. Extra, extra, extra. Yeah, no, because my yeah. perfect my perfect version of that is like we go somewhere remote, but with a nice resort. Like we go to some like mountainous resort. In yeah, Montana. there's no way you're gonna we be like to... I just want to hunt for my food and do all of them. I'm like, dude, not... you are not that guy. I'm not a hunter, but they build resorts on water. So, like, being able to go to, like, a resort where it's like, hey, the fucking, the river is right there, buddy. If you want to go fish and then being able to go back to, like, a steak. Dinner. I wish there so was, like, was an Aspen option because that's pretty what I'm into. Yeah. Oh, snow? You like a, yeah, like a snowy resort. Southern California. What the fuck do you know about snow? Big Bear. How many more times like have you been bear. to Big Bear? A few. <laughs> more like a couple, a couple. more like we, more we like would my, sneak out of class sometimes and go up to big bear for the day more like my dog bear okay that makes sense is, is big bear Shout like bear. uh is big bear. bear like snowball here or it's like it's hot in phoenix but you can drive it'd be an like hour going up to flag and, yeah you can drive an hour and a half yeah. and go to go yeah. to snowball yeah you yeah. can ski up in flag okay all right which cuisine could you see yourself eating five nights a week barbecue barbecue Dude, what a fat guy. Ask us the answer. rest of the questions, barbecue. asshole. Yeah, molasses. We know your answer. Next barbecue. Question. Yeah, <laughs> barbecue. That It's not barbecue nine times in a row. It's barbecue, sushi is light and refreshing, pizza, anything Mexican, or cheese fries, which... I can see your hands being tied between barbecue and cheese fries, Andrew. I'm not a big <laughs> cheese fries guy. Not a big cheese fries. No, but I know really? the last answer. Brisket, though? Yeah. I know the last answer is anything Mexican. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I'm a traitor, dude. I hate my culture. Um, no, honestly, I think I'm tied. It's a hard tie between sushi and anything Mexican. Mexican, yeah. That was going to be mine, too. Anything Mexican is probably mine. Just, just yeah, then I'll do sushi. Like, no, I've been on a eat... big sushi kick recently. I can go that for maybe three days, and even then I got to change it up. It's like if I get a bunch of like zhuzhed up sushi, then I have to like revert and be like, let me get some just Dude, the eerie, I went, just the. I went to those uh, those conveyor belt sushi pl places. Yeah. <sighs> Next table to eat. Was, <laughs> Next table to eat. They're sitting eat. there waiting for what's coming around. <laughs> 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 Next table didn't eat, and I brought the family, dude. We were munching. <laughs> you so just clear, yeah. like that joke Tristan told about the mom. You just had your arms we look like, sitting on the conveyor belt, and all the plates like, are just. We look like Cat Williams at the beginning of American Hustle. He's like, oh, when he's doing the every day I'm hustling yeah. shit, and he's moving shit around. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, here, read this. All right, which of the animal kingdom's furry friends is your spiritual am uh, animal? Deer, armadillo, mongoose, brown bear, squirrel. I would love to say it's a brown bear, but I know my guy's an armadillo. Dude, you're mongoose. <laughs> you're mongoose. I'm a mongoose over in an armadillo. Look yeah, at a mongoose and look at an armadillo. I no, feel like I'm more uh, armadillo. Yeah, he's an armadillo. Okay. He's an armadillo. He's a very tough shell. On the outside. <laughs> and then gay people, jokes. And then people come the near me. It's all gay jokes. Yeah, yeah. And then people come near me. I'm like, go away. And that's cool. Uh, a mongoose and looks at a fucking brown bear and isn't phased one second. Yeah, that's not, just an armadillo. An Are armadillo saying, has a... You're saying you're mongoose? I would, no, I'm going to go with squirrel. No. I <laughs> knew you were going to say squirrel. No, dumbass. We're going to go with brown bear, obviously. What are you? No, you're a squirrel, dude. 
How? How? Explain it. Explain it to me. Because I store nuts. No, I just you feel do like you have to try to collect nut. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm a brown hey, Dude, with how I tight your jeans are, you, it looks like you're storing your nut somewhere else. <laughs> Solid argument. Solid argument. <laughs> I'm going deer, dude. I'm real chill, but put some headlights in front of me. I'm freaking out. Spazzes immediately. Spaz- put a hot chick in the yeah. head. Put a girl's headlights in front of you. Yeah. I'm like, spazzing, One dude. girl with a decent rack has you just... Ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. I run into traffic, dude. Yeah. Just jump in front of a car. All right, mm. take, All right a deep take a breath. deep breath. <sighs> why does it? <laughs> why does the air smell so good? <laughs> <laughs> the second one's. All right, so that's Andrew. Uh, there's a great. <laughs> there's a great restaurant next door. I have no idea. It usually smells pretty bad. I can thank Mother Nature for that. All right, so Andrew's the food the one. No, Yeah, I was about to say, the number of times I'm driving down the 101 is like, damn, In-N-Out's still open? Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. They, brought, they brought back the volcano taco? I can smell it. Dude, I can, who's cooking up blooming onions right now? You get like that, uh, if you've seen Kill Bill, his head just turns and it goes like, All right, where do you going, boys? Because um, I lived in Flagstaff for two and a half years, the amount of times that people blame shit on elevation. elevation. Yeah, they're yeah. like, uh, "What's the? Why is this happening?" You're like, you know, we're seven thousand feet. I didn't hit yeah, my like, PR today. Shut up, yeah. asshole! You're like, I know. So you're going elevation? Yeah, because it does kind of make when you smell the pine when you go from like when you're driving up the hill and you go from that desert landscape where the last cactus oh, leaves exactly what you're and you about. see the first the pine tree yeah. and you're like. Oh, like That's when you're good, going yeah. up the hill and then you see the plains and you're yeah, like, you I'm go, in cowboy you go country right and then you, you go up it. into the pine hills oh, like, awesome. there's women with armpit hair I've done here. that drive so many times. It's great. I love that. Yeah. Um, what are you doing, Andrew? I'm assuming the restaurant. I want restaurants, yeah. Um, I could say I would thank Mother Nature for that. Because I remember the first time I ever, my parents told me when the first time I went to upstate New York from Arizona, I we landed and I was like, what is that smell? And my mom's like, fresh air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> so that smog. Smell is. Not yeah, dust. Breathing smog. Yeah. All right. Last question. Morning, neighbor. Want to make some small talk? Oh, Absolutely. F- How are you? I'm running late. Maybe later. No, f- get out of my way. I fantasize about this. I fantasize about becoming, because my dad had it when I was growing up with our next door neighbor named Dan. I fantasize about having the like, I get home for, I get home from work at 5. I know Dan gets home from work at 4:30. He's already one Coors Light in. He's going to crack one for me the second he sees me pulling into the like I love that. The like sit out in our front driveway with the neighbors and like we sit with the neighbors on Halloween. Our kids and their kids go out and trick or treat. Yeah, the, the hangout on the porch, and, like oh, the porch with the garage door oh, open. Yeah, oh, the garage yeah. frish is a humming. I've, n- wanna... I've never experienced that, so I'm constantly. Anytime like a neighbor now is like, "Hey," I'm like, "Shut up." No, that's how most people are. That's yeah. why that neighbor friend relationship is so it underrated. Special, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's like that doesn't happen normal. It's kind of like if you're like we're boys, but if our girlfriends line up. That nor it's like they have no reason to like line up. They just happen to like live next to each other. But like if you, oh my god, if you hit that, you happen. Imagine if I live next to one of you guys. It's like, oh my, my boy just lives fucking across the street. I love that. That's awesome. So yeah, yeah, I'm fucking absolutely. How are you? How you doing? Yeah, I, I'd say the same. Absolutely. How are you? All right, I'm going. I'm not going. No, get out of my way, because that's a dickhead. But I will be like, I'm running yeah. late. Maybe later. No, my goal is a uh, sister wives, where we all fuck one lady, but we live in the same cul-de-sac. Jesus, <laughs> where we, where we just motherfucker, said. you have that with Ethan. What are you talking about? Is this a good posture? <laughs> no, I was just about to say you're out of frame, and I want to fight you. <laughs> what, are you what are you doing? All right, so uh, I'm trying to take I, on the posture of I just got shot, and I'm waiting for the cops to find my dead body. Mm. Oh my god! All right, v- vamp, because I got to do this gay survey. Oh, right, uh, so you have to do a survey. We're getting to yeah. the uh, the back end. We're gonna wrap this up here. Yeah, we gotta wrap this one up. My vape right. tastes like utter dog shit. It is dying. I'm not at a vape man. What is? I'm not a vape man. What does that mean? We're just all the all the stuff that gets your. Do you get a head rush at all anymore? Or no, those are gone. Yeah, but it just it tastes burnt. 
I'm just burnt. Is that, is that what you think keeps you locked into Nick is the head rush? Do you continually get a head rush or is it? Yeah. I mean, I just also am addicted to it. So it's like. Well, I know that also, but I'm saying like even people who I think smoke cigarettes consistently, even on the first drag, like get a little bit of like a, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. It. Like I won't, I won't be smoking like all day at work and then I'll hit it and I'll be like, oh, there's the stuff. There's the good. Yeah. You just like put your head back and just be like, ah, oh, that's nice. It's nice. It's nice. The problem is it goes away, though. That's the issue. It's like I was talking to a, because my brother's in a, uh, at, at U of A. He's in a, I don't know what they call it, but it's basically a, dr- a psychedelic class. And they're learning about psilocybin. And, yeah, liberal arts colleges are bullshit. It goes to U of A. And uh, he, he's learning about like the benefits and downside to psychedelics and this and that. Basically, he asked me if I wanted to do mushrooms with him. Is that your um, final, doing mushrooms with your teacher? Honestly, I don't trust the class if it's not. It's like, how can you learn about... So it, They're learning about like the chemical breakdown of different types of mushrooms. He was explaining to me like the different strains he wants to use and what makes LSD different than mushrooms and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, you definitely have to do drugs. At the end of this class, that's how that yeah. ends. It's not, it's not a gateway class, and I don't know what the fuck is. Yeah, what? You're explaining to me how Jimi Hendrix changed America, and you don't want to do LSD? Yeah, yeah all under- because he ate Almost this that. one plant, but don't yeah. do it. Anyways, see you later tomorrow. Like, it's just like, no, dude, what the hell? What the fuck yeah, it's crazy. This is behind the scenes. We're at the end of the episode, so if you're watching, it's fine. My, uh, my parents, half of their thing, what they're holding against me is the fact that I let my brother try weed for the first time. But my brother told me a very in-depth story of where both of my parents split eight grams of mushrooms. They did four grams like of mushrooms. Like in front of him? Not in front of him, but they told him. The story. They've never done mushrooms, and they both did four grams each at once. Oh, you my God. Fuck, you know how fucking crazy that is? That's and a they lot. Get, and they can come to my wedding because I let this nigga hit a pen once? That's crazy. That's insane to me. Yeah. That's not, that's not nice. Yeah. Even, I'm glad I've they're done, not coming. All right, I got our states, boys. Part of me is too. What about the states? I got our states. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what about the it, states? I, it's so gay that we have to do this fucking <laughs> dumb fucking surveys. All right. Uh, I got New York. Did you? Yeah, I got New York. Okay. Tristan got Texas. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you? Fuck you. All Daniel right. got Wisconsin. Really? Doesn't, doesn't surprise <laughs> me. <laughs> That's, really? That's oh, be, cheesehead. Hey, comedy on state's one of the best clubs in the country, baby. Me and fucking 400 people in the and middle then now, of cheese country. Now for the, the final thing, the 10 most racist states yes. in the United uh, States. I'm going to kick Top your ten. ass. Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. Minnesota. Okay. Oregon. Right. North Carolina. Colorado. Oregon. Michigan. Yeah. Okay. They have the most hate crimes. <laughs> it's going by hate crimes. They also have the most strip clubs per capita. Keep going. Massachusetts. Ohio. Texas, number two, number one, Washington, D.C. I fucking, I won. I mean, first funny is second most racist. (laughs) (laughs) Daniel, who knew? Who knew? Everybody knew, but who knew? You're ranked 24th. In Wisconsin? Yeah, 24th is the most racist state in the country. Bro, shout out to the fucking Shout uh, out Jordan. Yeah. Shout out to the boys. Uh, Anyway, that's about it. Any new Patreon names or no? Uh, Let me check. Yeah, that's about it. And then we'll get up. Then we'll get up out of here. We'll I gotta go on. run and grab a vape after this podcast. I need one bad. That's fine. We have a battery currently charging, so that's good. I gotta check on my phone because I'm not tuned in yet. Okay, that's fine. Uh, as always, if you join the uh, you join the Patreon, we encourage Patreon name readings <laughs> down here at the back end. And we'll do you know? Uh, do you know what I did earlier today that was making Haley not exactly the happiest? What? I was doing a Korean accent of a Korean woman, and I was saying that I have diarrhea coming out of my pussy. And uh, it not only made her upset, but I think the cat, too. So it was... <laughs> is that what your it, household is? Just running wildly racist accents and seeing if it pisses off your liberal girlfriend? Just being like, <laughs> okay, bad? All right, gotcha. All right, not that, not that. Okay, cool. Well, it's just me doing it and seeing if it makes her laugh or annoys her. Dude, if lot. like we had a if we had a ring doorbell like inside of our apartment, you'd hear some crazy stuff. I'm sure you say wild shit at the house constantly. I say I, nev- shit, I but- never say the n word. It's a no n word house. 
You know what's weird? For a while, I tried to not say nigga in front of Taylor. I like really made it a point to be like this. Well, is for weird. the longest time, I made it exclusively my point to say it in to front say, of Taylor. And to just be- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard R to Taylor every time That's I was right. there in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I would go and whisper it to her, but I, I don't know the password, so uh, no Patreon names this week. We're so, in the next boys. one. We'll get it figured out. Hey, oh, tell yeah. a friend about Damn, the cast. Dude. We appreciate the fuck out of here. We're gonna go film. If you're waiting this long, we're gonna go film a uh, second public episode in a row. Let us know if you can tell everyone's had alcohol during the, the next week's public episode. <laughs> red, red wine. <laughs> Tristan's either asleep because he's sober or awake in this. And so we're we'll saying see, slurs. Yeah, so we'll see you guys later. Right. I'm sorry, Lauren. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lauren. Lord. I didn't mean to <laughs> say that. I didn't mean to make you cry, but tonight I'm cleaning out my N-words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping out a hard R. I'm fucking up my podcast. All right, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys later.